Hi everyone, uh, I'm not sure if this is going to work today, uh, just filming out in the gazebo. We've just got back from a walk with Cracker and I thought I'd try and share something with you but um, the wind's blowing the gazebo a bit, it's squeaking, the uh, birds are chirping and the neighbours strimming. Anyway, what I wanted to share today was about solar. Um, I've seen a real transition from just over a week ago to today and that is basically I've been charging the Kona on just solar for quite a while now and yet the state of charge of the Kona has been coming down and down and down so we've basically been doing more miles than I've been able to recharge into the car because I'm trying to get the hot water heated from solar as well and I haven't quite got enough kilowatt hours coming through the system it's a 3.9 uh, kilowatt P maximum system with a 3.6 kilowatt inverter so the maximum I'm getting on a day like today which is beautiful sunshine and it's a little bit hazy I'm getting 3.4 kilowatts and even on the clearest of days without haze, you know, 3.6 is the maximum I'm going to get. And I can get that for a consistent four or four and a bit hours, maybe five hours in total. So, you know, 15 kilowatt hours is what I can achieve during the peak part of the day. And then in the morning and the afternoon, I can get a few more. So the peak that I've generated so far in my solar is 25.8 kilowatt hours. But, you know, a lot of that I have to use, you know, Somewhere between three and six kilowatts can be used, kilowatt hours can be used just for my hot water. Then I've got the cooking, you know, the oven uses 2.8 kilowatts, the kettle 2.2, the microwave 1.8. It doesn't take much baking and cooking. And before you know it, you haven't been able to charge the car for two, two and a half hours because I need a, a good clear 1.4 um, kilowatts for the Zappi to charge the Kona. So anyway, yeah, last week and before, I saw the state of charge of the Kona going down and you can probably guess by now this week what I'm seeing is the opposite it's going up we started um, nearly a week ago about 29% state of charge and every time I charged another 10 kilowatt hours into the car we'd do the 40 50 60 miles and it'd be gone again and we'd be back down to the same level and then we started creeping up to 33 35 percent state of charge in the Kona and then into 45 yesterday we got to 55 percent state of charge so drawing those numbers on a graph I can see the line going up we're gradually getting more and more state of charge into the Kona and yet we're still doing our journeys we're still doing 20 30 up to 60 miles a day yesterday um, Susan went out on a 60 mile round trip um, started out with 55 percent state of charge came home with 42 percent Today, I wouldn't mind betting we'll end up over 55% state of charge. So the great piece of news is, can you really run an electric car on solar only, on a 3.9 kilowatt P system? And the answer is yes. Not for January, February and March potentially, but definitely April onwards. Um, it's probably up to um, mid-October. Um, I would imagine that I can, obviously, it depends how many miles you're going to do, doesn't it? Because if you don't do very many miles at all, you don't need very much solar to be able to charge the car to do those very few miles. And if you use the car regularly and are doing a couple of hundred miles a day, then obviously you'd need a much bigger solar system to be able to charge the car and run it purely on solar. So, uh, yeah, for me, this feels like an exciting time because you know, I installed the solar system here in January and it's been getting better and better every month. Um, every month I'm getting more. I think the first month in January we got 130 uh, kilowatt hours, then it was 250, 260, then the third month 380 um, and hopefully we'll be above 380 kilowatt hours in April. So yeah it is getting better and better and this is something else I've been thinking about as well as the fact that I can now run the Kona just on solar energy and it suits the amount of miles we're doing. So I seem to have it quite well balanced on the size of the solar um, array we've got, the Kona Electric on how efficient it is and how many miles I'm doing. All of that is balancing really, really nicely for us at the moment. But what I've noticed is I wonder whether um, adding an electric car and solar PV to your system can actually be unhealthy for you. Imagine if you've really got some suffering with OCD or some suffering with SAD, Seasonal Adjustment Disorder. Well, I'm feeling this emotion of joy going up and up every month as I'm getting more solar and the car's getting charged and it is a wonderful warm feeling knowing that everything is positive and everything's working well. But once I get over that September, October time and it starts slipping down and the daylight starts to dwindle and the kilowatt hours reduce, and the car doesn't get the charge it wants and it's a really dull day and I'm lucky to get 
three or four kilowatt hours so yeah I have to turn the boiler on again I wonder whether all of those things will actually make you feel miserable in winter so you'll get uh, even lower winter feelings and you'll have even higher uh, summer feelings so I wonder if that will affect people I wonder whether it is a joy um, during the summer months but during the the off times when it's um, not providing everything you'd ideally like I wonder whether it can be a little depressing anyway Food for thought, uh, I am certainly enjoying it here today. Uh, we've got lots of solar. We've got four, I think, full days of uh, weather forecast just showing cloudless skies. So without a doubt, we're going to have loads of hot water and the car is going to get fuller and fuller of electrons. So um, yeah, we can go on a nice big trip and use them all again <laughs> and start back again. Anyway, I, I hope the sound has come out on this. I hope I get to use it. And uh, thank you for watching. Thanks for subscribing, everyone. Another. Uh, more detailed video coming soon, I hope. <laughs> Enjoy your weekend, everyone. I hope it's a great sunny one wherever you are across the world. Bye-bye.